Hey there, it's Sam Conan from samconan.com, and I've got another brief literature lesson to share with you, this time from C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. In the chapter called Peter's First Battle, Peter fights and kills Mogram, a gigantic gray wolf who's attacking his sister. Now, Peter has no time to prepare for this fight, and Lewis tells us that Peter did not feel very brave. Indeed, he felt he was going to be sick, but that made no difference to what he had to do. And so he attacks and strikes and kills the wolf. It's not a very good fight. Peter's not very skilled, and it's only by luck, uh, by, by the grace of Aslan, that the sword actually kills the wolf. But Lewis is making a vitally important point, not just about courage, but about all virtues when he tells us about Peter's fight. Despite not feeling brave, Peter must still act bravely immediately. The wolf isn't going to stand around waiting for Peter to feel brave, before it's, before it's going to attack his sister. Peter has to act bravely now. He must strike the wolf now. He can't stand around waiting for brave thoughts to come into his heart. Now Lewis argues in other books that virtues, true virtues have to be measured by action, not by feelings or intentions. The most important application of, the truth, of this truth is this. Virtue is doing what needs to be done regardless of how you feel. This is true of bravery, it's true of love, it's true of all virtues. You can't wait until the feelings are right in order to act rightly, but it is a great truth that right actions often lead to the right feelings. If you're interested in learning more about what Lewis has to say about virtue, be sure to check out my new Chronicles of Narnia class this summer, June 10th to August 12th. That's it for this lesson. See you again next time.